Hey YouTube, here's the first video of the Tebow Tornado where I'm going to explain a few of the things that I've made and put on it. Um, right here are the bed adjustment knobs that make it a lot easier to adjust the bed level. It's a Raspberry Pi case, 80-20 mount Raspberry Pi case that I made. These are just little end caps that clean up the end. Y-axis uh, belt cover. X-axis belt cover. Filament guide. There's a top mount filament guide to go with the top mount spool holder. Has a new parts fan nozzle. A rear Y-axis cover, a power cable loom. I've also switched to Capricorn XS tube. Uh, I had to take it apart and shorten it anyway, so I did. Capable of a higher temperature. And then this is the bed mount GoPro mount that as soon as this print's done, I'm going to attach so I can do time lapses without that axis of motion. This is a spool holder for an Ender 2 that I'm printing. Uh, you'll see a couple strings hanging off of it, but if you'll notice, there's almost a 90 degree angle it had to build that flange out at, and there's only two strings hanging off. It's actually pretty impressive. Um, I'm having some issues with the Tornado. The SD card shot anything I try to do with the SD card, no matter what card I put in it. Uh, sends corrupt data, I get lines all over the platter, etc. Bad parts. Uh, last night, I had a seven hour print going, which is the spindle for the Ender spool holder. Look at that. I don't know what happened there. I uh, suspect it's a slicer thing. Slicer USB? I'm not really sure. It's not simple layer shift. And then, real quick, before I stop this video, this is the printer that started it all. The Monoprice Maker Select V2. I'll come back and do a run on it. It's currently doing an Olinda Dragon. I'm uh, doing some tests on retraction and temperature to stop stringing. I also changed the part cooler, and that didn't go too well, so I need to do a PID tune. I will provide links to everything I'm talking about under the video. Thanks. Stay tuned.